you told her that? The sign outside said it's for sale. We can't let her down. I never really doubted you. It was just my silly common sense. We got to that Well, point. I think parents are afraid of exercising authority because they tend to think that authority will crush the creative spirit of their child. Oh, fuck. Well, I, that is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, okay. No, I... <laughs> I, see, everything this man says, I think, is common sense. I, he's, you're, you guys you're, should have a baby together. Yeah, we should have a baby together. <laughs> he's, it's, like, it's like we get crucified for what we say. I don't think anything we say is controversial. Welcome to the Dennis Report. I'm Dennis Atchison, and this is an episode of As I See It. The first clip you watched was Miracle on 34th Street and the use of the phrase common sense. The second clip was real time with Bill Maher and guest Jordan Peterson. There you had Bill Maher's use of the phrase common sense. Just a couple of weeks ago, my horoscope even used the phrase. There's a saying that one pound of learning requires 10 pounds of common sense to use it. For the most part, it's reasonable to say that the use of the phrase common sense is ambiguous at best and really depends on what the listener is hearing. But in New Brunswick, if you use the phrase common sense, this is what happens. The leader of the People's Alliance has been throwing around that New Brunswicker needs common sense. Words that we see written, written in this throne speech. Joseph Goebbels, yeah, I'm quoting Joseph Goebbels. Reich Minister of Propaganda of Nazi Germany said, it would not be impossible to prove with sufficient repetition in a psychological understanding of the, po the people concerned that a square is in fact a circle. They are mere words and words can be modeled until they cloth ideals and disguise. What exactly does common sense mean? The people are... In a four-way minority government, it is a clear message from the voters that they didn't want politics as usual. And yet the Green Party goes on the attack over a phrase that at best is ambiguous. So much for building a relationship between the six MLAs that can make all the difference in our political future. And his verbal attack on the People's Alliance turns out that Mr. Arsenault actually used Goebbels' propaganda strategy. Point number one, pinpoint a specific enemy. Clearly it's the People's Alliance. Point number two, attack the establishment. In Mr. Arsenault's speech on November 23, 2018, he constantly pounded at the political establishment, pounded away at spin, and pounded away at acting like a politician, and he implied that there's a secret code within the political process. Point number three, use current subjects. Mr. Arsenault referred to bilingual paramedics, fracking, and defending francophone rights. Point number four, appear to work confidently in the interest of your group. Throughout his speech, Mr. Arsenault said he would work hard for his writing and for minority rights. Point number five, always appear to have good intentions. Throughout his speech, Mr. Arsenault's rhetoric was moral high ground. He portrayed himself as the defender. Interesting note, his speech lasted 28 minutes. In it, he referred to himself using I or me 140 times. That's five times a minute, or roughly once every 12 seconds. Point number six, pinpoint who to hate and who to blame. Mr. Arsenal was looking right at Mr. Austin when he leveled the accusation of use of Goebbels' propaganda strategy and the phrase common sense. The Liberals and Conservatives must be smiling as the Green Party does harm to the potential relationship between the six candidates that can make all the difference in the decision-making process in the legislature. And somewhere out there, voters are shaking their heads watching all this and feeling like nothing's changed. Be good, have fun, love each other.